hello world in this video we are uh, uh, going to see how we can manage the landed cost uh, from a different vendor or a supplier uh, in Odoo so uh, before we are moving to the exact workflow we need to check uh, 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 some of the configurations in the system so here uh, the first thing you need to enable the landed cost in the system so we can see landed cost enable that option then uh, make sure we are on a uh, Anglo-Saxon uh, accounting uh, because when we are doing any um, uh, purchases um, uh, and the sales, uh, the cost of revenues will be um, uh, recorded in the system when you are doing the sales only. So make sure these uh, uh, options are enabled and uh, about the stock valuation settings. So we can see. We have an automatic accounting and stock valuations. These accounts are also configured in the system. So these uh, stock valuation accounts uh, and stock interim accounts, it's a uh, current asset type. So once these are enabled, uh, you can go to the purchase module. So on the purchase module, uh, you can see there is a configuration. Uh, I just created one more uh, uh, product category and uh, it's called the landed cost. And uh, these configurations are also done. And you can see some uh, uh, products are there and a uh, few uh, landed cost items are also created here. So these are the options I have selected. So once it's done, we are going to create a new purchase order in the system. So you can click on create new and uh, you can choose the vendor. Then you can select what are the items that you are purchasing from that particular uh, vendor. So you can see, okay, we have these items. Can select all the items for now i'm just selecting it as a one quantity only and with the 100 real as a uh, cost so i'm just removing the tags that will be easy for understanding and uh, save the record and you can confirm the record once you confirm automatically the receipt will be generated you can go to the receipts in another screen i'm going to show you the reports how the reports are coming so just update the report okay so this is the current um, um, my uh, general ledger in the system. So now I'm going to validate the records. So once I validate, you can see the reports are updated now. So let's check that report, see what are the items you received. Based on that, the reports are updated now. Going back to the purchase order and creating the bill. So once you create the bill, give the bill date and you can confirm the record. So once you confirm automatically, the uh, reports will be updated so this is how it will look like now at the next step we are going to create the bills in the system okay means the extra freight charges or something so you can come to the accounting vendors bills and create, uh, click on create new here you can select the when uh, that uh, new freight company and here you can select all the extra charges that you are uh, paying as a uh, lander cost. So you can select all the items here. Let's set the 30. Remove this record. Give the bill date. Then you can save and confirm the record. So once you confirm the record, you will see some options create lander cost. Let us check the report once again. See your reports are updated now. The lander cost. We are going to create the landed cost now. So the landed cost are created and you can you will see the uh, uh, screen is redirected to some other screen. It means it's a landed cost screen and you will see the accounts like this. So we can select the incoming shipment here. So this is the incoming shipment reference number when you are receiving the items uh, through the purchase order. Save the record and validate it. Now let us check the report once again. See it's updated. So this is how we can uh, uh, create a, a purchase order uh, for a vendor and the re related uh, landed cost for another vendor. So everything is reflected now and if you are checking your uh, uh, reports or uh, products, you will see the uh, costs are automatically updated. Thank you.